Welcome to this video, which is part two of our static analysis of this rigid body, which in this case is the boom of a crane. Okay. In part one, we got our free body diagram drawn, and we found uh, we created x and y axes, and then we found the x and y components of the 500-pound load and the 2,000-pound weight of the crane. Uh, the next thing to do is to find the x and y components of our force F sub B. Okay? And to do that, we need to look at the geometry of the situation. Uh, we know that the angle between vertical and the axis of the boom is 45 degrees. This is 45 degrees. And we know from our picture here that the angle uh, from vertical to the direction that the pneumatic or the hydraulic cylinder is working at is uh, 22 degrees. So what that tells us then is the angle between the horizontal axis and the direction of FB is 45 minus 22, which would be, what, 23 degrees. Okay, so let's draw our triangle. So we have a Y component, and we have an X component. And if I could draw, that would be a right angle. And we have then F sub B, that's the distance of the or length of the hypotenuse. And we know that the angle between F sub B and the, um, the x-axis is 23 degrees. Okay, so with this then we can say that the x component is going to be F sub B cosine 23 degrees, that's this guy, and the y component is going to be F sub B sine 23 degrees, that's this guy. Okay, and so the last thing to do is write F sub A in terms of x and y components, which we can do, uh, we'll call this guy here FAX, that's the X component of FA, and we'll call this guy here FAY. Okay, so we have all of the forces on our uh, boom expressed in terms of their X and Y components. So this means we can start to apply the equilibrium conditions. Uh, the sum of the moments is equal to zero, and the sum of the forces in both the x and y direction are equal to zero. And we'll begin by looking at the sum of the moments about the point A. Um, so if we look at the terms that will affect, or that will produce a moment around the point A, we have the load out here, its y component, will produce a moment, and it will be producing a clockwise moment, so the moment will be negative. We have the magnitude of the y component given by this expression, and the moment arm is 35 feet. So our first term, oops, forgot to clean off my Okay, so our first term is going to be 500 pounds sine 45 degrees times the moment, which is 35 feet, and this is a clockwise moment, so it's negative. Okay, so that's this guy. Uh, we have the weight of the boom, so the component here which will produce a moment about A, is the Y component of the 2,000 pound force, which is 35 
or a sine of 45 degrees times 2,000 pounds. And this is operating on a moment arm of 16 feet. So we, and it's clockwise, so we'll have minus uh, 2,000 pounds sine 45 degrees times a 16 foot moment arm. Okay, and now we have the components of uh, FB. The Y component of FB is this guy right here. It's given by the sine FB sine 23 degrees, and it's got a moment arm of 10 feet to work with. So we can say then that this would be, and it's going counterclockwise, so it will be positive. So plus FB sine of 27 degrees times a moment arm of 10 feet. And we need to go back and look at the X component as well. Our X component of FB, oh, that's a terrible color for right there. We'll do this brown is parallel to the x-axis, perpendicular to the y-axis, and so it's operating here on a moment arm of 1.5 feet. So from our uh, triangle here, the magnitude of this force is F sub e cosine 23 degrees. So this will be plus F b cosine 23 degrees, and the moment arm is 1.5 feet. And where I got 27 here is a mystery. Some random neurons fired and said, hey, let's change that to 27. Okay, well, we'd better check this and make sure we've got everything right. Let's go back to our free body diagram. We have 500 pounds sine 45, 2,000 pounds sine 45. Um, we have FB sine 23, FB cosine 23. Okay, I think we've got this right. And now this is going to be equal to zero. Okay, so um, we could continue on. Uh, applying the summation of uh, the forces in the x and y direction, but you'll notice that the only, only unknown in this equation is F sub e. So let's go ahead and compute what that is. Okay, so we had minus 500 sine 45 degrees times, uh, let's see, 35 minus 2,000 sine 45 times 16. I think that's what we had up here. I guess we better check to make sure. Uh, yeah, 16 feet. And now we have F sub B sine 23 times 10 plus, and I'll just call this B, because Wolfram gets kind of crazy with two-letter variables. So B sine 23 degrees times 10 feet plus B cosine 23 degrees times 1.5 equals 0. Again, let me check to make sure we've got this right. So I'd hate to lead you astray. Okay, that's what we have written down. So we hit return. And Wolfram Alpha tells us that B is uh, 27... 68 pounds, rounding to the nearest um, pound. So we can go back now to our expression here, and we can say then that from this we say F sub B is equal to 27, 
2,768 pounds. Okay, 2,768 pounds. Okay, so um, we're making progress, right? The next thing to do is go back to our free body diagram and sum all of the forces in the x direction. Let's do this in hot pink. Okay, so our forces in the x direction will have um, a negative because it's uh, this guy is going this direction. Uh, we'll have a negative 500 pounds cosine 45 degrees. We'll have a negative 2,000 times cosine 45, again, because it's going in this direction. We'll have a positive F sub B cosine 23, and we'll have a positive F A X. So, let's go write this down. We had F A X plus F sub B cosine 23 degrees minus 2,000 pounds sine 45 degrees minus 500 pounds sine 45 degrees and this is all equal to zero. Okay. You'll recall we know what F sub B is. Uh, it's given by this value, so we can plug this in here. And um, let's go to Wolfram Alpha and find out what F of AX is. Okay, so I'll call this A plus um, F sub B, 2, 7, 6, 8 times, now let's make sure we get this right, oops, let's see if we can actually even find it, cosine 23 degrees, minus 2,000 cosine, whoops, 2,000 cosine 45 degrees, minus 500 cosine 45 degrees equals zero. And it tells us that F sub A is minus 780 pounds. Okay. So let's go back and write that down. Whoops. Okay, so we have then F A X is minus 780 pounds. Okay, we're out of time. We'll have to finish this up in the next video.